A young ewe gives birth and within seconds takes charge of her brand new lamb. The lambs represent the time when winter is gone and spring is going to come. Susan Gardner lives and works on her family farm near Charlotte. Her grandparents came here in 1913. In the background, you see a stone house. That's where I grew up. They're Corridale ewes and they have lambs. The lambs are from one week to one day old. Susan raises her sheep for both meat and wool. I have had this flock for 30 odd years, always Corydales, because they are lovely ladies. They have a nice wool, they taste delicious, and they have a very nice disposition. That is Thalia. This is Aft. That's Zana. The Corydales are a cross between the fine wooled merino sheep and a British long wool. So they got the softness from the merino and the length and the shine from the long wool. Susan marvels at the bond the mothers form with their infants. It is as old as living creatures. The ewes can be half sisters. I do line breeding, which means I use the same ram on successive generations. This is Bo, he's my mature ram. And coming over is Bob Blue. He's a two-year-old. And I guess the ram lamb is going to come too. That's Bob Black. The rams are penned away from the ewes until breeding time in November. Susan has skilled hands to help her out. That is Hannah, my border collie. She is in charge of taking them from point A to point B. Bella's the large guarding dog. She protects the flock from predators. She will secure the sheep in a corner of the barn or pasture, then face off anyone that would do them harm. And then she will charge and retreat, charge and retreat. So she's always right there. She, coyotes cannot draw her off. Bella works night shift. Hi, Squeaky. Squeaky's in the maternity ward after just giving birth to twins. The family will spend a couple days here before being put back with the other sheep. Because they need that time, the lambs and the ewe to get bonded. The ewes and lambs are either white or black. Squeaky carries the black gene that makes for a shiny fleece of many colors. There is a large population of spinners who like to work with natural colors. White wool can be dyed any color. The ewes and rams are shorn about a month before lambing season. And this massive fleece from one ewe is the makings of a new wool suit, sweater, or scarf. In the days and weeks before lambing, these ewes need a lot of feed. Some of these ones with the remarkable bellies are uh, probably a couple of days away. Years of experience tell Susan what to expect. She's not quite ready yet. Actually, the price for lamb is high right now. Higher than it's been in quite a while. The wool, not so much. She expects to make a little money, but just enough to maintain her flock. But they give me immeasurable value just by being here. I am very, very grateful that I live in such a beautiful place and I have my animals to take care of. To watch the cycle of life unveil itself on this farm near Charlotte. Kevin Mackey, NBC, Montana.